when you look at this decision, uh, it just we just believe collectively there's too much uncertainty at this point in time uh, in in our country, and to to really to encourage our student athletes to participate in fall sports. That's Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren after making a tough decision about fall athletics and big board sports. The Big Ten was the first Power Five conference to announce that they're postponing the fall football season with the hopes of playing in the spring. The Pac-12 followed shortly thereafter with the same action. The announcement comes after several days of speculation and reports amid the health concerns revolving around coronavirus. And it comes despite pleas from players and coaches to let them play. Ohio State Athletic Director Gene Smith said he is going to continue to fight to give the university's fall athletes a chance to play after the Big Ten postponed fall sports. So, yeah, we're, we're in the Big Ten. We're not looking to play in someone else outside of our conference. We have a, a contract that we're obligated to with our television partners, so that's not happening. We're moving to mentally. We've shifted, and, and we're looking at the spring as an option. And uh, I, uh, up until today, it was not an option for me uh, relative to my mindset. Uh, but uh, Ryan and I just spent some time talking about the possibilities, and, and I'm embracing it. Earlier this morning, the Big 12 said it will continue moving forward with the intent of playing fall football. The Big 12 Board of Directors met yesterday to discuss the future of the season in the midst of decisions by the Big 10 and Pac-12 to postpone fall sports until 2021. Big 12 teams will still play their nine conference games and one non-conference game, but the start of the conference season will be delayed until September 26th. The Red River Showdown between Texas and Oklahoma at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas remains scheduled for October 10th. After beating the Rockets yesterday, the Spurs are still in the hunt for the eighth and or ninth seed in the NBA's Western Conference. San Antonio gets the number eight seed with a win, combined with a Memphis loss, a Phoenix loss, and a Portland loss. San Antonio gets the number nine seed with the win, plus a combined two losses from Phoenix, Portland, or Memphis. Win and get a lot of help. DeMar was asked when did he believe the Spurs had a shot at the postseason. Before we came here, you know, just us having an opportunity um, to be here, you know, that's all we needed. Um, so for me, as soon, soon as I've seen our name and opportunity, no matter the percentages of us making it or whatever, you know, I still believe that, that we'll be right here where we at. One more regular season game left for the Spurs tomorrow, 530 with Utah. Yesterday, the Rangers beat the Mariners 4-2, and the Giants were one better than the Astros 7-6. That one going 10 innings. Guys? I know that Texas OU game is kind of a big deal for some people, but you know who opens up conference play, right? You know who starts it? Texas Tech and Texas in Lubbock. Well, there you yeah, go. Ooh. So, yeah. yeah. So, Oklahoma will have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> if you like learning about food from other countries, you're going to love today's SA Live. Mike and Fiona, show us what you're working on. <laughs> Spoken like a true Red Raider fan over there. Hey, we are taking a trip around the world with food. Plus, it's the coolest way to beat the heat, and it's all today on SA Live. We're getting a taste of the seven seas, different flavors, a lot of countries, how you can try it all in one place in one day. Boy, that looks good. Hey, it's the largest pup patio in the city. We're checking out why this local restaurant has what it has for dogs and their owners, plus the special treats you can take to go. And keep you and your family cool no matter where you go. You're going to say, why didn't I think of that? When you see this clever <laughs> portable cooling system. Hey, he's already accomplished a huge milestone and toured with an American Idol. We're getting a special performance from an up-and-coming country singer who just released his debut album. And you won't find this dessert on many menus around town, but even more amazing is who's making it. It's a recipe you're going to want to try. Hmm. And have you tried cuisine from around the world? See if you know more dishes than we do. We want to know what's the craziest food you've ever eaten. Ooh, find mm. out. Share your comments on social media, and you just might see them on television. Brand new SA Live, minutes away. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. 
It's out of this world. Dwarf Planet series may be an ocean world of salty water just below its surface. The largest known object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, closely observed by NASA's Dawn mission for seven years now. Researchers found there is a 25 mile deep reservoir of seawater extending for hundreds of miles. The findings intrigue scientists who now want to explore a series and its potential for life. We've been checking the temperature gauge all throughout the show. We're now up to 138 degrees. Yeah, that's inside that vehicle right there. And that's what we've been talking about all day is make sure you check for your kids before you close the door and head into the store or wherever you're going. Make sure those kids are out of there because that's what it can look like right there, 138. So it's gone up about 12 degrees since we started the show? Mm -hmm. I believe so. That's brutal. 12, 14 air, degrees. Yeah, yeah, air temperatures are 95, but you can see the difference there inside the van, 138. Okay, one last look at the forecast. Uh, 101 today, 102 Thursday. Basically triple digits across the board. The one change you'll notice, Monday and Tuesday, we've added in some rain chances there. Fingers crossed that we can get some cooling thunderstorms, hopefully Monday and Tuesday afternoon. Guys, we're hoping you're wrong on Monday. Oh, it'll be 95 degrees with showers. <laughs> look at, look at the expression. He's like, <laughs> really? Like, what? <laughs> Not okay. going to happen, Ursula. <laughs> well, we do know it's food involved in this one because uh, what did you say it was foreign food? Food from foreign countries? Is that right? Around the world. Food from around the world? Uh-huh. Mm. Right. Well, uh, Test your knowledge, too. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> 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 Let's start. Let's get it going right. My guess is that he's not going to want to eat some of this stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I have to watch. Exotic foods. We'll be right back. But SA Live starts right now. <laughs> well, taste food. That's right. From around the world, right here in San Antonio, where you can sample the best dishes from different countries all in one day. Plus, hot enough for you? Well, don't let the triple digit heat stop you from doing all the outdoor activities you love. How an ingenious local product is helping people cool off. And the only thing sweeter than these little chefs yes, is their are. dessert. The kids are in the kitchen and they're sharing their recipe today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. What's up, y'all? My name is Chris Bandy, and you are watching SA Live. Hello, and happy Wednesday. Yep, like he just said, that is musician Chris Bandy. He was named Artist to Watch by Entertainment Weekly, and we've got a performance of his debut album coming up. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, plenty of people have had to put off vacations and skipping trips this summer, so we've all had to get creative about our getaways. Yes, indeed, and a day at SeaWorld has always been a great escape, but now they're taking it even further. You can sample cuisine from multiple countries all in one day for one price. We went to get a taste of the seven seas. Check it out. countries may not be on everyone's list right now, but there is a way you can enjoy some international cuisine. A taste of seven seas, of course, serves up some delicious flavor here at SeaWorld and Chef Scott joins me right now. And before we start on our sampling of international cuisine, tell folks what they can expect when they come out for Taste of Seven Seas. Well, when you come out to the Taste of Seven Seas, this is our fifth year doing this. Typically, we have the grand Seven Seas, 70 plus menu items. We're a little scaled back right now, but we wanted to give our fans that have been around for the past five years, so they don't forget us, something of their favorite foods that they can get from the Seven Seas. We're here in France. We've got Germany. We've got Italy. And we've got Greece that we're going to be hitting through today. And we're going to taste a little bit of our Seven Seas, starting with our crepes that are made fresher daily. All right, so what have we got in front of us right now from France? So you've got a chocolate cherry crepe from our sweet side. The savories, we got to play on our Monte Cristo, traditional Monte Cristo's deep fried ham, turkey, cheese. We've also got our turkey mushroom Swiss with our white bechamel. Then we've got our almond croissants made in-house fresh daily with an almond paste stuffed on the inside of it. Wunderbar, we are here in Germany, okay? And right? We, we got here fast. We, we did. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> yeah. So what we have here is our beer braised beef. Oh. Literally takes us about six hours to make that beef. 
It's served over sauteed spatzel, little salt and pepper, and then we have a beef demi-glace that goes over it. We've got our spatzel with beer cheese, or kaja spatzel. What goes better with beer? Mac and cheese and more beer. We're doing a bratwurst, almost a slider, but it's on a pretzel roll. Slow caramelized onions, mm. spicy mustard served off there, and then we've got our homemade apple strudel served with vanilla ice cream. Well, whoopa! It's kind of like we're bar hopping, but with food. As we which, snap our fingers. That's right, here we are. <laughs> we are in Greece. Jeff Scott, walk us through what we're looking at. So Greece, we got a small sampling of our Greece menu here. We've got a traditional gyro, homemade tzatziki, tomato, sliced, thin sliced red onions. We got a house-made baklava. We have our chicken shawarma on a non bread. It's got cucumber, tomato, and then you've got the coolest thing ever that a lot of people love. They come back year after year. It's our lamb burger slider, but it's got a spicy feta cheese in there. So it's not your traditional feta cheese. It's got a little zing behind it. It's, but that is a good kick. It's a perfect combination because you get your sweetness, you get the yeasty roll, you get the greens that give it a little bit of bite, Ooh. you got the lamb and the beef that's there, and then it's got a little kick between the cheese and the peppers that are inside there. It's good. Ah, uh, Chef Scott, uh, we have made it over to Italy, yes? We got the boot from Greece, so we came to the boot. I mean, we're in Italy now. And I tell you, all this food that you can have here, I mean, it's like an Italian grandmother has made it to and she's just about to pinch your cheeks. She's going to pinch your cheeks on this one here. So what we have here, we have artisan style flatbreads. This one here is our meaty Italian. It's got a spicy fennel sausage, uncured pepperoni, and prosciutto with sweet onion. You move over here, Mediterranean shrimp with basil. It's again the flatbread. It's gonna be the shrimp, uh, roasted red peppers, tomato, sliced red onion, and finished with basil. Then you move over to chicken margarita. We use a very garlicky chicken, fresh buffalo mozzarella. We have the tomatoes that are on there. And then we finish it with a sweet balsamic reduction, and again, our basil. You go to grandma's house on a Sunday, and you're gonna find the meatballs simmering in the Italian red gravy. We make them in-house. The red gravy's got five ingredients, all high quality, and it's on a roasted garlic brioche roll. And then, go ahead, say it. Holy cannoli! Holy cannoli. And it's got our toasted pistachios on there and your traditional cannoli filling with the chocolate chips in there and everything. So when you come through, we're, exceed we're either meeting or exceeding CDC guidelines, local government, and state regulations to make sure that we're gonna treat our guests safe. We got plenty of room on over 250 acres here. So you got plenty of room to come on down. You can social distance. Mm -hmm. We're gonna require you to wear the mask. If I can do it, you can do it. We can do it together. It's gonna make everybody better in the long run. Chef Scott, thank you so much. And for more information on Taste the Seven Seas at SeaWorld, head to SeaWorld San Antonio's website, or for that link, just head to our website, salive.com. Okay, Fiona, I'm really jealous. I thought I invited you to that. <sighs> Obviously not. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going to be live email. at SeaWorld for Shark Week. <laughs> Our Jen Tobias Strusky is going to get up close and personal with the fierce fish tomorrow mm. at 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. You know, all this talk. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> all need a bigger boat, Jen. <laughs> All this talk about exotic dishes got us thinking about other meals from around the world. So we're going to play a game. One of us will say a dish and the other has to guess where it's from. Okay, okay. so I'm going to guess first. Gonna guess you first. read first. So yes. uh, where is King Kali? King Kali? Yeah. A traditional dish. OK, where, where, where is it's it? It's a dumpling filled with beef, pork or lamb. King Kali. I love I love the dramatic music. Armenia, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, China. Um, I'm gonna say Kyrgyzstan. Really? I would go. Georgia. Wow. Close. Okay. I would not have guessed that one. And we're not talking about the state, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, where can you find Aki? Uh, aki and saltfish. Aki is a fruit with a buttery taste and it's sauteed with saltfish. Is it in Haiti, India, Jamaica, Brazil? B, India. Uh, I don't know. Jamaica. Okay. okay. All right. Next question is where is Muktuk? Muktuk? A traditional dish. There are the choices on your screen Greenland, Russia, Iceland, Denmark. Made from the skin of blubber and beluga whales. Oh, of course you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say Iceland. It just. Okay, they're right next door to each other. Same, <laughs> one big, one you small. You were in the area. You were in the area. All right, where is Arag? A traditional dish. It is fermented horse milk. Its content, its alcohol content is typically higher than beer. Is it China, Japan, Norway, Mongolia? Mongolia. That was my guess. Yeah, because yeah, of okay. horse, horses. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Okay. 
Bulgogi? Well, but where, where is bulgogi a traditional dish? Korea, Morocco, India, or Chile? I'm gonna say Morocco. <laughs> Korea. Okay, where can you find sisig? I think it is, roll back, it's sizzling dish with pork cheek, head and liver, and pairs great with a beer. Is it Jamaica, Germany, Philippines, or China? Philippines. No kids. <laughs> have you that ever, had, you ever had that? Me. <laughs> have you ever had it? No, no, okay. but I know what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we want to know what's the craziest food or most exotic food you've ever sig, eaten? Sig, sig? Seasick? No, no I just said I didn't. I oh, yeah, had okay. That. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever eaten? It would have to be on this show when we've had to eat, you know, chocolate covered grasshoppers or something. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy for me. I don't eat bugs unless it's on this show, apparently. I would say sea urchin. <laughs> I had it in a uh, sushi dish one time. Did not like it. It was the consistency of, as I described it earlier, and no, I won't no, share that. Might be eating. Share your comments, though, <laughs> on social media. Tag us at SA Live KSAT, and you might see those comments a little bit later on in the show. All I'm thinking is what you said. It yeah. You of. All right, still ahead on SA Live, it's a dessert you won't find in many restaurants around town. A couple of junior chefs are whipping up a special treat, and they want you to try it. But first, it's not the, just the answer for a hot day. It could potentially help in the battle against COVID. The local product that you need to check out, it's next on SA Live. And don't forget, the SA Live team is working on something big. Our back to school special in prime time is just one week away. We have great deals on school clothes, the tech you need for learning at home or in the classroom, meals made easy, and a whole lot more. Again, it's happening Wednesday, August 19th from 7 to 8 p.m. right here on KSAT 12, KSAT.com, and the KSAT TV app. You won't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's an ingenious idea. Take something that would normally be thrown out and turn it into something that's basically gold during South Texas summers. So we caught up with Benny Sorolla, the inventor and owner of Mr. Cooler, one of a kind cooling and misting system that might even have some other uses during these different times. With schools getting back into uh, into session, this is a great way to uh, uh, minimize or minimize heat stroke, um, and uh, you know keep people cool. Uh, whether you're just playing outside or if you're you know doing two a days, you know on the football field. About seven years ago, uh, some friends of mine uh, we were playing golf. It was a blazing hot day, and um, we actually uh, got our towels that they gave us to play golf, and we stuck them into the beverage cooler. And uh, that melted ice was, was, you know, obviously ice cold. We took that out, wrung it above our heads, and I was like, man, how do I capture this melted ice and uh, use it to cool us down other than wringing it, you know, a towel above our head? And that's how we came up with, you know, the idea of Mr. Cooler. Yeah, so it's 100% it's portable, um, built-in battery. So you don't have to worry about uh, the battery dying. It'll last about 10 hours off a of charge. Um, and then it, it runs off your melted ice from your beverage cooler. So if you have a beverage cooler and you're taking that around, um, you, you pretty much already have the fuel for the, the Mr. Cooler, right? So um, it, it, and it, it works real simple. Like it's, it, it's very quiet. You can't really hear the unit working at all. So what it does, it creates just a real fine mist that uh, evaporates very evenly. So you don't have to uh, worry about getting wet and uh, not, you know, truly cooling the area. First, like th this setup is, is a tent setup. Um, when you buy a Mr. Cooler, it comes with uh, the nozzles and the tubing to set it up on a, on a portable canopy tent. Y you just, you can, the, the hose is actually malleable, so you can leave it on the framework or you can have it clipped onto the tent itself. Uh, either way, and you can collapse the tent and take it, take it apart without removing the hose at all. In the, in the past, people were typically using this for uh, like uh, golf carts, uh, boats, um, patios. People will put it on their own patio and they'll have this little cooler right there with the ice. Um, you know, tents like this, um, you know, we take it to the beach all the time, you know, things like that. When I built this thing, it was really important to me not to use uh, uh, supplies from overseas. I really wanted to stay stateside uh, in the United States and also within Texas. So. Um, I, uh, I'm using high quality products and this thing is, you know, built to last. I saw an opportunity with Mr. Cooler to uh, not only, uh, you know, cool areas off, but 
you know, I think it could be used for other, other uh, various other reasons, uh, you know, uh, whether it's spraying, you know, uh, solutions that people are using for COVID uh, to cool down the areas where they're actually doing testing. You know, I think there's a lot of different uh, capabilities that this uh, product could be utilized in. I did uh, get a water ionizer when all this stuff happened and uh, figured out a way to make a solution that uh, kills bacteria. Um, and I think that's something that people should look into. Um, but I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert in that by any means. I just, uh, um, I think I have a great delivery system and it, it could be captured in, in, you know, ways to really help society get back on its feet. If you need help cooling off this summer and uh, find yourself outdoors and you want to uh, take care of the people around you and keep them comfortable, uh, you can find us online at www.mrcooler.com. That's uh, M-I-S-T-E-R-C-O-O-L-E-R.com. Oh, right? Isn't that so times... cool to think about that? And instead of dumping out all that water and wasting it, you're yes. putting it to good use. And imagine, I mean, even take that pipe, and I love the way he said it's very flexible, so uh -huh. you can just mount it in your pop-up. Mm -hmm. What if you had a, you know, some trees over your back deck? You could mount it up in there, too. Boom. Done. For more information on Mr. Cooler, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Again, why didn't I think of that? He's a breakout country singer and songwriter. Coming up, we're getting a special performance from musician Chris Bandy. And next, they're probably doing more than anyone else right now to keep us all cool. What you can do to help CPS Energy keep our ACs humming. Plus, if your job has been impacted by the pandemic or if you're looking to start or grow your career, McDonald's is currently hiring. Join a winning team and ask for an application at any drive through or applying online by texting works for me to 36453 or on McDonald's hiring website, makehire.com. There's more SA Live straight ahead. The pandemic has shifted the way people do things right now, but it hasn't changed CPS Energy's commitment to providing safe, reliable, and affordable energy when you need it the most. They have a number of resources to support the community so we can all power through this together. Joining us now is CPS Energy President and CEO Paula Gold Williams. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Thank you very much for the invitation. Of course. What is CPS Energy doing to help our community as we struggle through the effects of this pandemic? Well, I think one of the, the biggest things that we're doing is staying focused on our people first commitment. Uh, I started that strategy early on in my in my career as CEO. And now more than ever, we are thinking about what we can do to help everyone. So what we are trying to do is make sure that we are intensely focused on keeping the power up and reliable. That's important. We know there are more people at home, more people thinking about the things that they need to do. We are in storm season. It's been a little light, but we are making sure that we are able to respond if there are storms. And then maybe more than anything, we are available and doing more outreach. We now have an outbound call program where we call customers. We want to make sure that they know about our assistance programs. We don't have a rainy day fund, but we do have some funds that we have continually had out there that can help people when in times of need uh, pay their utility services. That said, what we're really doing too is making sure that they know about the other programs around our community. We talk to them about the food bank. We talk to them about um, housing assistance and uh, the things and places they can go to get um, daycare information. We will look and do searches on the internet. We will do whatever we can to make sure that people know about those programs. In addition to our ability to put them on a payment plan, when we do that, we waive the uh, the fees, the late fees that would normally accumulate. And again, um, we just want to make sure that we know that they know that we're available for them. We also tell them about scammers. We are not calling people and demanding payment. We are not a collection service. No one should ever call them and say, go get a, go get a gift card and pay CPS Energy's uh, bill. We're not doing that. We never do that. And so we don't even ask for bank information when we're doing outbound calls. We love this community. I've been born and raised here. 
We've been servicing this community as a company for 160 years, and we want to get through this partnered with all of our customers and the community. I tell you, Paula, I know that customers appreciate all that you do, and because of the essential services you provide, CPS Energy is often at the forefront of energy innovations. Now, we've got about a minute left, but what are some examples of things you're doing to make sure San Antonio is looking forward when it comes to renewable power sources and technology? I'll make it quick. So we, we just issued a big RFP. It went global. We put it out in 10 languages. We are thinking about today, but we're thinking about tomorrow. We know we will get through this. And so we're looking for up to 900 megawatts of solar, up to 50 megawatts of energy storage, and up to 500 megawatts of what we call firming capacity. We think this is an interesting time, but we think there is no time to wait to get that, that type of information. So what are some things CPS Energy is doing to help customers manage their energy use? Usage, you know, during the summer. Um, big things that people can do. We try to remind everyone, be really careful about the energy you use at the peak of the day between 3 and 7 p.m. Turn that thermostat up a bit. We also have thermostat programs. We have the ability to, to put you in our program where we will remind you of the high heat days and paying attention to your thermostat. And then we have products in our Save for Tomorrow Energy Plan, our, our energy efficiency and conservation program, and, we, and they're available for our customers too. And CPS Energy President and CEO Paula Gold Williams, thank you so much. For more information and resources from CPS Energy, just call 210-353-2022 or visit their website, cpsenergy.com. Paula, once again, thank you and stay safe. Thank you, ma'am. You too. Next on SA Live, a sweet treat from some cute chefs. It's a recipe you won't find in many places around town, but these junior chefs want you to try it. That's coming up. But right now, here's a few easy ways to stay healthy, brought to you by BMW of San Antonio and the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Welcome back to SA Live. Of course, with these scorching temperatures, now is a great time to enjoy ooh, a cool dessert. And today we're bringing you another edition of Cooking with Kids, featuring a Filipino dessert that's sure to please anyone. Our Jen Tobias Trusky met up with a sweet pear. My name's Adrian. My name is Evie. We're going to be making a Filipino dessert called Halo Halo. I love cooking because it's fun. Let's get started. First, we're going to spread the purple yam around the bowl to make it colorful and pretty. Hold it, Evie. Now it's time to put some ice in the bowl. sweet milk on top of the ice. And then we're gonna put the sweet beans on top of the milk and ice. <laughs> now we're gonna put the green jellies in. And then we're gonna put the white jellies inside. Yes, the green ones. And then we're going to put the red jellies on top of everything. See how pretty it looks already? Oh, you got another snack. <laughs> now, my mommy is going to help put the ube ice cream on top. It's yummy and it's sweet and it's purple. Now we're gonna put the Rice Krispies on top. And then we're gonna put some Pockies inside the ice cream. Now we're gonna put the strings on top. Halo Halo means mixed up. It's time to taste. 
that's how you make Halo Halo. <laughs> you can get all this food at Sorry Sorry. Thanks for cooking with kids. I wasn't even paying attention to what they were making because right? those two were just Isn't it just precious. adorable? And oh, look at how look at good that looks. And it is, it is, it is set up. It means it tastes really, really good. Oh, they it's were yummy. just... Those two were just precious. Okay, now to a treat just for the grown-ups. Of course, there's lots of local restaurants offering cocktail kits so you can have the best happy hour right at home. Or right here. The Rustic, located at the Rim, has a bunch of cocktails to choose from, and they sent us two. Now, we're each going to make them and see if the other can guess what the cocktail is. So I am going to make mine first, okay? okay? So I've got some vodka. I've got some ginger beer. Um, orange bits and lime juice. Okay. I think you just mix them. You know, I was just making sure. Oh, here we mix go. them all together. All right. And the nice thing is, each of these kits has enough of the ingredients for two. So you would be able to make two of those, and I'd be able to, <laughs> or just one, for or just yourself. one really Come big on, one. Mike. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I should know you better, shouldn't here. I? So ginger beer, mm -hmm. vodka. Mm -hmm. What's what else is that going in there? Lime juice. Lime juice. Orange bitters. Uh, mm -hmm. is, that's not ranch water. No. No, 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 it's, what? I'm, I'm supposed to guess what you're yes, making. Yes, yes. Vodka, a, ginger beer, you should have it right there. Okay. What? Mike. Starts start, start with an M. My old Moscow oh, Mule. There we go. Or Mule. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm I forgot. I'm like, ginger beer. Right there. Right there. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. Now you're going to make yours while okay. I try to guess, while I enjoy mine. All right. So I'm going to put some ice in here a little bit. And I might get smarter mm, here in the next ice. 60 seconds. And I've got a little bit of uh, whiskey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good enough. And some bitters. Some simple syrup. Oh, this is good. Nice little twist of orange right there. We have a cherry on top that goes in there. Oh. And cherry then on top. a little bit of the, uh, I think some, some orange zest perhaps. Mix it all up and we have a. Something you are not old fashioned. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Let's, let's see here. <laughs> I get nicer as I drink. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got half an hour more of the show to go, so happy hour at work. Hey, this is, everybody, you know, the newsroom is right over that direction. We could really make them jealous right, right. now. Yeah, you know they are when they see this. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, cheers, uh, everyone. Rustic roadie. <laughs> yes, the Rustic has cocktail kits for the Rustic water, the Rustic margarita, <laughs> rosé, beer, and, of course, shots. <laughs> shots, shots. <laughs> it also has something new. For the four-legged members of the family, pups are allowed on the patio. The Rustic now offers the largest dog-friendly patio in San Antonio. It's also doing breed meetups the first and last Wednesday of the month. The next one is August 26th, which is also National Dog Day day for retrievers. You even have a chance to meet the Rustic's new mascot, Rusty the Dog. And if that's not enough summer fun for you, the Rustic is offering $5 frozen drinks all summer long until September 1st. Hello. For more information on the Rustic, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, next on SA Live, he's been making moves in the country music scene. We got a special performance from Chris Bandy and hear which American Idol he went on tour with earlier this year. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, he's been writing music since high school but his music career took off after college. And he made his debut on the Grand Ole Opry stage this year and even toured with American Idol season 17 winner, Lane Hardy. Chris Bandy's self-titled album was just released at the start of summer and he has a special performance just for us. This is Man Enough Now by Chris Bandy. Just close enough. I got me a little space to breathe, a little 
If you like what you heard, Chris Bandy is doing a virtual interview and performance today at 4 p.m. with the radio station. And we have a link to it, to that, on and to his website. So just go to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on SA Live, selfies that actually pay off. How you can improve your smile just by taking a couple of quick pics. Stay with us. Well. Tomorrow on SA Live, we have a fantastic time with sharks. Jen takes a jawsome trip out to SeaWorld to learn about our toothy friends. Plus, any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Whiskey or vodka, cocktail or mocktail, we have the cocktail kit recipes for Thirsty Thursday. That's all tomorrow at 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. Well, parents are getting everything ready for the kids to start the new school year, whatever that's going to look like this fall. And if braces are on the list, we know the easiest way for you to get a consultation and estimate, and you don't even have to leave home. Dr. David Ferguson with Celebrate Dental is here to tell us how it works. Good afternoon, doctor. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing very well. Okay, this is amazing. This is as easy as taking a selfie. Tell us how MySmileSelfie.com works. Yeah, thanks Mike for asking. So the thing is, I got seven kids at home and the truth is, is we all know with COVID, a lot of things in our lives have gotten a little bit harder and it takes a little bit more time. The, the opposite is true with getting a braces consultation. We have made it so easy that anybody watching today can get a braces consultation today just by taking a couple selfies with their cell phone uh, and sending it to us uh, through our website, mysmileselfie.com. So not only is it that super easy, but then kind of the icing on the cake is you can get braces for 99 bucks a month. That's right, Mike. So, you know, our typical pricing is $120 a month. There is no down payment. There is no credit check. It really is that easy. There's no uh, fine print. Uh, our typical cost is $120 uh, and you can come in and get braces for that much. But the good news is, is it's only going to cost 99. Uh, and so all they have to do is go to our website, mysmileselfie.com, 
It'll walk them through exactly how to take a couple photos. There's four or five photos. The app will tell them exactly how to take those photos. Those photos will come to me or one of the other orthodontists in our group. We'll do the consultation and we'll be able to tell those people today how long braces would take and how much braces would cost overall. Uh, but, the, but the most important thing, like you said, Mike, is it really comes down to uh, the monthly payment. Well, exactly. Now, we know you take uh, insurance, but what kind of financing options do you have? We take any PPO insurance, all of them. Uh, and the financing option is really what makes it affordable for people. When I went through braces, uh, my parents had a hard time making it affordable. And when we, when I became an orthodontist, I committed that that's what I was going to do. And the way we do that is monthly payments. Uh, there's no tricks. They can come in today uh, and get braces on for $99. It's $99 uh, for the first visit and $99 every visit after. Okay, so you've got, take a selfie for the, the estimate, you've got great financing, and then kind of getting hours in there can always be tough, but uh, families to set an appointment, that's easy, right? What are your hours? Yeah, so we go from nine until 6.30. Um, and so we recognize, you know, school's a little weird right now. Like I said, I have seven kids. But what's great is, is typically people can come in after work, after school, they don't have to miss those two things and they can get their braces. And we do both kids and adults. Half of our patients are adults. And how many different locations around town? Another great thing. We've got six locations around town, so we're convenient wherever you are. You can submit your selfies now at MySmileSelfie.com. Celebrate Dental is doing no credit checks, no down payment, and braces for as low as $99 a month. For more information, again, that website is MySmileSelfie.com or give them a call at 210-201-1696. Dr. Ferguson, always good chatting with you. Thanks so much, Mike. Ah, yes, those exotic foods. Yes, okay. What's the most exotic that you've ever had? Ours was something on this show, which is going to be probably, probably so. chocolate-covered grasshoppers or something, you know. But tomorrow on SA Live, we're going to have a fantastic time with sharks. Jim yes, we are. Live at SeaWorld. And it's a Thirsty Thursday, and we're going to be making all sorts of cocktails, mocktails, all sorts of goodies there. So, But before we go, we have one more song from country singer Chris Bandy. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. So I have a fantastic Wednesday. Thank you, SA Live. This is my song, They Make Whiskey. Oh.